What is good y'all, John D. Saunders here. You know the vibes. In today's video, I'm showing you how to use Google Analytics to make informed decisions on your website with this free and easy tool. Let's dive in. Most important things I like to look at on Google Analytics is acquisition overview, and I get to see where most of our traffic is coming from. So most of it's direct, right? People are typing in black illustrations and they're going directly to that .com website. Now, secondly is a referral, right? And a referral is just another website referring business to our site. And we can look at some of these free tools that are driving that traffic. Tools.design, our Gumroad page, UX library. So these are other platforms pushing traffic to our website. So as an agency owner, what I can do is I can reach out to these folks and say, hey, I was wondering if you could do a cross promotion or do an illustration pack for you guys, offer them value. That way they can see something to get out of it that would drive traffic back to the website. I can also look at some other things like behavior, right? So if I go to behavior and I go to overview, it's gonna give me all that information in one shot. So as that loads up, I'm gonna show you what that means on the website. So going back to what we just discussed, I'm gonna reach out to those other businesses. Now what I can do here is I can go here and I can see the pages with the top traffic, forward slash just means the homepage, next page is the packs, and next is the number one pack that we sell and some of the other ones that we use as well. Now, this is great because now I can see the best performing illustration packs. So I could create a section on the homepage saying feature or best sellers, and I could put three to six of our best selling illustration packs right there to make some decisions on where we wanna go with that website. Now people can access those packs pretty quickly. I already know they sell well because they're top performing pages, and I know that people are going to buy them. So again, just another decision that I was easily able to make checking out my analytics. I can also go to site content. I can look all pages to see this in more detail. So let's go ahead and look that up. There we go. So I can see the top 10. I can hit this and I can even go to the top 25 and see all the top performing pages and how they perform and the bounce rate from them to other areas. Now, last thing I want to show y'all in regards to making decisions and making changes on this website, we're going to go here to acquisition and under acquisition, you'll see all these content here. You'll hit all traffic and then I'm gonna get source and medium. Now that's gonna tell me in detail, direct, meaning people coming direct to the website, Google organic, Facebook ads, tools.design, which is a referral. These are all referrals. And then there are one more thing I wanted to show y'all. I'm trying to see where that, it's actually under audience mobile overview. So I can see the type of traffic that we receive. So as you can see, most of our traffic comes from desktop. That's why we focus on a desktop first approach to the overall design and layout. And as you can see, we have 1100 users on desktop, 600 on mobile and then 25 on the tablet. So this helps me understand, okay, well, we need to make sure that we're dedicating time enough to make decisions on this desktop design and then have that trickle down to mobile as well. Hope that was helpful. Thank you all for checking out the video. As always, drop a comment below. I'm an open book. Ask me any questions you like. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and I will see y'all next week. Peace.